Hey guys, it's Freddy Tech back with another video from CFL Tech. I hope you're doing great to start this video off. Now what we're looking at here is a Roku home screen and we got a Roku Express 4K, which is really nice. We'll link the purchase down below for you if you're interested in this device. It's a good deal from Amazon right now. So we'll link that down below if you wanna check it out. It seems to be rather quick. It moves around nice here on our Samsung TV. It's got the uh, Pro Voice Remote Pro. Now we're not going to demonstrate that feature in this video. What we're doing in this video will be to look at some customization of the Roku player. Now you may be wondering, how can I customize this home screen? You know, it's just a basic generic home screen. It's purple with the white text. And I, you know, I want something to look different here, a little more exciting or colorful. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these options here to show you how you can customize your Roku player. Now you can do this with any of the Roku devices. It's very easy. So let's get right into it here and take a look at the settings. And this thing moves pretty nicely, this new device. We just picked it up. Now we've had several Roku players, of course, but we just picked up this one at a good deal. And again, we'll link it down below if you want to check it out. So let's go ahead now to theme under settings. And when you go to theme, you have theme packs. Now theme packs will give you a whole new look. Now right now by default, we have the check mark there, the green for the Roku default theme pack. Now it looks nice, but there are other options. So let's see, you have one of eight theme packs showing here. So let's look at uh, this one here. Now we did download this, uh, we didn't install it, but you can easily go to any one of these. So they have space theme pack you have the nautical theme pack you have the jungle theme pack and then you have the kids theme pack and there again is a western one that we already downloaded and then you have the romance theme pack so let's go ahead and take a look at one other one here and show you how you download it and you also get a look at the uh, thumbnail here or actually they'll, they'll show you what it looks like you have a screenshot so let's go ahead and look at the screenshot of this one here the space theme pack and that's what it'll look like on your home screen so Definitely different than the purple and white. And then if you go right here, it shows you a little more of what it will look like across multiple screens. So there you go. So let's go back here and we're gonna go ahead now and take a look at getting the theme pack. So you select this option here, hit your enter or okay button on your remote. And it's getting the theme pack here. It'll download, takes a couple of moments here and you'll see it. Now it should show you the steps. It's adding the space screen saver and then you'll get the uh, audio as well, the sounds. So there you go. So now you can go ahead and set the theme pack, remove it or view the screenshots like, like we did earlier. So let's go ahead and set the theme pack. Okay, so there you go. That was quick and easy. So it says this space theme pack is ready for launch, complete with wallpaper, screensaver and sounds. So we're not gonna, let's see, I think we have the uh, let's go back out here now and see what we show in the home. Okay, there you go. And we don't have the sounds going. Let's go into the audio and see what we get. Okay, so there you go. That's what that sounds like. Hit the home button. There you go. So there's the sounds. So that's kind of cool. So let's go ahead now and look at the settings again, and we're gonna go into uh, theme, and then we're gonna go into wallpaper. So here you could just do the wallpaper only. So you have different ones, you have dynamic ones. Uh, so it shows you here a little bit on the right, a little bit about it, winter is whimsical, and then you have fall is fantastical, and then you have summer in the bay. Do they have some spring, fall, winter, and spring. So let's go to spring, being we are going to be in spring here real soon. And let's see what it looks like on the screenshot. So there you go. Not much to that as far as what they show you. So let's go back out and let's go ahead and get the wallpaper. So it's downloading and there you go. So let's go ahead and set as wallpaper, see what this looks like. There you go. We still have the space sound because that's the theme pack that takes over everything. And look at the um, automation here. They, uh, they have some butterflies flying around. So it's uh, definitely a dynamic wallpaper. 
So there you go. And then let's see, the sounds are still the same. So there you go. So let's go back into settings and let's go into theme. Let's go into wallpaper. And so you have these here, now you have spring. So you can go ahead and remove or revert to default wallpaper. So now we're back to the purple. And we still have the sounds though. So that stays because the theme is still set in the background. So that still takes precedence of, for this audio on the Roku player. So what we're gonna do next here now is we're gonna go ahead and show you how to customize your channels. So if you wanna move a channel, say you have a channel here, uh, let's go down and say you want um, Film Rise, or let's go to Pluto. So if you want Pluto to move to the top of the list, you want to hit this button here, what was shown on the screen, it looks like an asterisk. So you hit that and then you're going to get a, a menu that comes up and you'll see here one of the first options to choose is move app. So we're going to go ahead now, you see it's selected with the arrows in all directions. So we're going to just, um, we're going to up arrow on our remote and bring it up to where we want. Let's put it in the second position here. So when you see add channels and TV off, that's right above the top row. So now what you do is just hit the back button and there you go. Now, you've, now you're showing your Pluto is in the second spot. That easy to move your channel. So some people may be wondering, how do I get this to where, you know, I want it so you can put your more popular channels up top. There you go. That's an easy thing to do. So that's one little trick or tip that you can do with your Roku player that makes it a little more uh, customizable so there you go so let's go now and take a look at the um, settings again and then we're going to go into our home screen option now with this uh, menu option here you have different options you have recommendation rows so that's what they have when you first go in um, they have options to show or hide those recommendation rows so you can customize this Say you don't like something and you want to remove it, you could just hide it. And then you can go down to live TV. You have either you can show live TV or not. So most people do have the live TV showing because they want the free live TV channels. And then you have what to watch. You have that option as well. You have featured free. And then you have sports. So you saw that sports section. We did a video on that. It's really nice now. And then you have the shortcuts. So you have the ad channels and TV off. Now we did see those right above the top row. In the app section where we just moved the Pluto app, you saw ad channels and TV off. So you can remove those options from your um, app drawer, if you want to call it that. So there you go. That's easy right there to do that. And then you have live TV again. So let's go and uh, go down here and let's go into uh, hide sports. Okay, so now sports is gone. So when you go to home screen here now, you will not see sports. So if you go to live TV, we do have that. So it's still there. So interesting how that works very quick and easy. Well, Roku is a very easy operating system and platform to work with. It has probably the most apps out there. Uh, we never had many problems with it. We've been using their devices for more than a decade. And you know, they run rather smooth. They're made very well. These remotes are very nice now. We have this uh, remote here, it's rechargeable. So it comes with this device at a very good price. So we'll link it down below if you wanna check it out. So what do you think of these tips and tricks? Did they help you? Hopefully they did. And if you have any others, please put them in the comments down below. We always like to hear what our viewers have to say, any tips or tricks or anything streaming related, put it down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here at CFL Tech, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit, also hit that notification bell so you know when the next video drops. Freddie Tech will be checking out of this one, soon to be back with another. Take care.